Would you like to collect photos from your users? Let me show you how. Hey, job farmers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and there are a lot of different ways and different nuances that you can utilize to collect photos from your users. So in this video, we're gonna talk about just a couple, but definitely check out all of the other articles that go along with collecting photos because of course, there's a ton of different ways. So the first way within a form, so as you can tell, I'm in a form on my desktop. The first way that we can do this is by allowing your users to upload a form from either their computer or their phone. So the way that you can do that is just with the basic element over on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose add a form element. And then if we scroll down, we have file upload right here. So with this, whenever they open up the form, they can choose to browse their personal files and upload a document, or in this case, a picture. Now, there may be some instances where you want people to take a picture of where they are right then and there. With that, we're gonna utilize one of our widgets. So let's jump to widgets, and I'm gonna search for photo right here, take photo. We can drag this in. Now with this, we get to choose what this looks like for them. And depending on what you want them to take a picture of, it's going to vary. So over on the right hand side, we see the widget settings and we see the camera facing. So do we want the camera to open facing them? So maybe we want them to take a selfie or maybe we want them to take a picture of something that's in front of them. That would be the rear camera. So you need to decide how do you want the take photo widget to open on their phone? front camera or rear camera. And then we also have some different options. If you want to change the way this looks, take photo, retake photo, update photo, and then of course your photo was successfully uploaded. You can change any of these as well. Now, if you want your users to be able to preview their picture before they hit submit, there's another widget for that. Over on the left-hand side, let's do upload image preview right here. We can drag this in. And this will allow them to choose an image from kind of like file upload, but a little bit different because it's going to allow them to view that image. Now, something else that you can do when you're collecting photos is you can kind of personalize that thank you page. So if we head over to settings and then the thank you page, we can see here we have thank you, your submission has been received. We can edit this to say thank you, here is the image that you sent. Now, if we do a return key, we're going to add a field. And then right here we have take photo. So here that photo is going to appear in their thank you message. But it's as simple as that. Now do keep in mind, there are some other ways that you can collect photos. So definitely check out the other articles below this video. If you liked this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell so you get a notification every time you put out a new video. I'll see you next time.